Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It's season 37, and this is war number two. We're going up against an alliance called Raid. All right, let's see who they've banned. Quake, Hercules, and Kingpin. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Let's get in here and see what we got. I take path three in sections one and two. All right, so this path is now a path where I need someone to deal with this uh, electric defense spaced armor. And I've been using Namor. He seems to be a really good option. So we will continue doing that. Uh, Namor should be able to handle that Killmonger as well. He can be a pain just in general, but uh, Namor should be able to handle the reverberation and all that good stuff. Okay, then we've got Mole Man up here. Um, probably not going to have anyone specifically to be able to take this Mole Man. I will bring uh, Nebula. Um... Yeah, I will bring Nebula, especially for this node, uh, for for this champion here. Because, ugh. She got me last, uh, last war. Because I didn't know about uh, how her auto block worked or anything like that. So, uh, I'll bring in Nebula for her. I mean, I could also, I guess on this node, Claire, since... Uh, should be able to nullify. Actually, she's immune to nullify. That's right. So, it'll probably be Nebula. Okay. And I can use Claire for uh, Warlock here if I want to. And Nimrod be Nebula. All right. And then I guess they'll let me know, just like with the last war, uh, they'll let me know if I'm needed here. Usually I'm not. Uh, that last war was the first time uh, I was needed on Boss Island in a while. All right. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. Going in with the uh, standard team, Namor, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nebula. I remember taking Nebula up, and it was mainly for Nimrod. Uh, on the uh, mini in section two on the left hand side, but she has proven to be quite good at several different fights. It's, it's been uh, interesting. I never thought that she was uh, that good, but I remember hearing uh, some other YouTubers saying that she was really good, and I was like, eh, eh. but as you can see, I've been using her. Just look at this team. Namor, I hadn't used before. Uh, and Nebula. Been quite interesting. Look at that damage. Just keep in mind that the damage you see me doing to Colossus, that's the damage that would normally be done to me. So, Namor is great. I'm trying to think. There are other options, like if I had a Gallon, uh, I think he would be good for that path as well. But Namor works just fine. Love that damage reflex. Now, Killmonger. I have always hated fighting Killmonger. He is just annoying, but I am used to fighting him. And as long as there's no unblockable special ones going around, um, we're, we're pretty good. Or Reflective Stun. Oh, I hate Reflective Stun when I'm having to deal with Killmonger. But as you can see here, this is perfect because Killmonger also has Reverberation. His Reverberation Armor does damage to you if it's uh, not on cooldown. So really, Namor is reflecting not only the node damage, but also the damage that you'd normally be taking Um when he has his uh, reverberation armor up. So this is a perfect, perfect uh, fight 
for Namor. Now, who would I use um, if I didn't have a Namor? Maybe, I don't know, Archangel maybe? He might, he might uh, do well uh, on this fight. Uh, Claire does not do well um, at all. Uh, I remember trying her back in uh, Season 36. She got wrecked. Uh, I may still release um, those videos, uh, the lost season. Uh, but in any case, uh, we got him down without any difficulty. You can see Namor's health is looking good. Okay, now. Uh, this mini, I think, yeah. Went up, went up to this mini. And so Nebula can't take him because shock immune. And so I was like, you know what? Why don't I just let somebody else take that one uh, and uh, deal with it? And they were able to deal with uh, him just fine. Now, you guys remember when I had to face Omega Sentinel in section one on that path? Well, I learned a bit from uh, my experiences fighting her. And so now I know that I'm going to use Nebula. You know, I I'm not even going to play around. I I've looked at her kit and it's really, really annoying <laughs> to fight her if you don't know um, what, what she's doing. You know, when she auto blocks and, and that she can resist your heavy and things like that. But Nebula is perfect because I'm not really hitting her, so she's not getting those um, armor ups. Now there, I'm hitting her a little bit just to push her back. Um, but once I got the uh, eight uh, shock charges, I'm not having to worry about that. And now I can just build up in peace if I really want to. You can see I'm hitting her, nothing. She's not gaining any of her uh, armor ups. Okay, so we're good at this point. Nebula, that too, if I see uh, Omega Sentinel on my path, I'm bringing Nebula. Okay, so at this point, boom, got the parry, fired up the special two, fights up. So yeah, she wrecked me once, but I've learned how to fight her now. And Nebula, perfect. Perfect counter uh, to deal with her uh, on my path. All right, so now we've got um, Warlock. And the mini over here, I was going to take uh, at least one of the minis, but um, they took the mini already. Uh, in some wars, I end up taking, you know, all the minis or two of the minis. So we, we, we switch off back and forth. If they have a good counter and they're confident, um, then they'll take it. Uh, you saw that notice notification again. I hate when I forget to turn that off because when it comes down, it covers the health and it distracts me. And I have to swipe up to get rid of it. So, so far it hasn't really caused me uh, to lose a fight, but it's only a matter of time. So I really have to remember to uh, put on Do Not Disturb when I'm about to fight. All right, so there you go. I was sitting there just just waiting for him. We were looking at each other for a little bit. All right, there we go. And he takes my my uh, power, so I don't have my special two anymore. But that's fine. There we go. We got to the special two anyway, despite his best efforts. And down he goes. All right. <clears throat> now, I don't remember... Um, if I had another fight after this one, let me see. Um, it's been a while. Right now, even though I'm I'm recording uh, War Two, we are on War Nine, I believe, at this point. All right, yeah, looks like they've already cleared it up, which is the norm, you know. But all right, that's gonna do it. Uh, we'll be right back, and you'll find out how this war ended.
And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war and it was a close one. All right. You can see the points right there. What is that? Uh, 300 point difference. Very, very close. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.